Oh no, because it... <laughs> Make a run for it. <laughs> oh, I just gotta do this. I don't know if it's gonna work out the way we want it to here. What's going on, you beautiful people? So today's video is gonna be a little bit different than my normal video simply because I'm headed out with my professors and classmates in search of what is called the Jefferson Salamander. The reason why we're gonna be looking for this animal is to gain data points and get swabs that we can send back to the lab and try to determine its microbiome. If you guys don't know what the microbiome is, this is my first question of the day. What is considered to be the microbiome of plants and animals? I wanna keep my intro short just because it's gonna be a long trip up there and I'm probably gonna have intermediate videos of us actually getting there. So I don't wanna bore you guys, so I'm just gonna jump straight into the meaty stuff as soon as we start finding salamanders and stuff like that. So hopefully you guys actually enjoy this video. Hit that like, hit that thumbs up, and hit that share, man. And if you really, really, really like me, hit that subscribe button. You know what I mean? Dr. Bag, you say you're gonna jump in? Yeah, man. Mm. <laughs> things on this list to think about is you know this is a fishless environment and so they're eating each other though but they don't have to worry about that aspect of predation and so that's why these particular habitats are so important as you go into conservation or, or the environmental bio and just being able to figure out where these wetlands are because the middle of the summer is probably completely dry and you wouldn't know that so that's why when we go to Bear Wall, we'll do some soil cores up there. We'll do that at step two to look for like that clay. Some wetlands though are more like limestone depressions, and so it's a little different. Composite in Virginia, I've particular. Had with the okay, and then uh, <laughs> go ahead and kind of think through this now. Make some observations. If you have waders, if you'd be willing to go and dip net out here for us. To see if we get some uh, larval marble salamanders, because I think we'd all like to see those. And yeah, feel free, like Manager, to oak clip some logs once you make some descriptions for yourself. Yeah, there may be some spotted under the logs. Yeah, spotted should be coming in. And um, I think probably this week when it starts raining. I think yeah, I mean, you might even dip that spotted out of here. Um, oh, and, uh, so the guys that are in here are marble larvae, so they come out. They're in bits of the salamanders. Same as spotted and just, but they are a little bit different. The mm -hmm. marbles yeah. come out in the fall, and well, they will good. come out and hide underneath logs. So this will be dry typically in the fall, and they'll lay their eggs there, and then the rains come and fill it up, and the larvae will hatch uh, and stay over winter in here. They come out before spotted do, so they're much larger. All right, when the spots come and breed. So their larvae are hatching, that's their food source basically. So they'll eat on the spotted larvae. You're talking about Jefferson's? Right? Yeah, Jefferson's will feed on the, yeah. That's but there's a, you know, a pro and con, there's more risk because what if it doesn't fill up with rain? Right. What if winter comes yeah, a little bit that? early, you know? You see where all that green stuff is? Underneath that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you probably see them start the move as you go towards it. Yeah, oh, frog. Where's Got paper. What'd you get? A paper. Paper. So, paper. So we got no. paper on the list. If anyone's marking species. <laughs> you go. What kind of eggs? Mm -hmm. He's bouncing, bouncing. Yeah. Got a little cross on the back. Sweet acres, Christopher. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got another frog. A green frog. You don't like. You don't like the zit stuff. We got another frog. Man, we got everything. Okay, remind me, bullfrog versus green frog. Which one has the? That's the a bullfrog, line? actually. Yeah. It's which, a little because bullfrog. the green frog has the line that goes straight yeah. down, and the bullfrog has yeah. the one that turns down. Yeah. Got a baby bullfrog. We got one. We got one. Got one. Got one. What? Marble. Oh. Barbie.
Ja, genau. Das ist Marble Town am Ende. Ja, das ist Marble. Wo ist es? Da. Oh. Hold on. Das ist Marble. Ist das ein Marble? Yeah, oh, that's so cool. They're, they're just sitting there on top of the, basically on top yeah. of the green stuff. Cool. It's an Eastern Newt. Hey, you saw a Newt right here. What else did you see right here? <coughs> Is that a Marvel? No, it's a Newt. Oh, okay. Spotted Newt. Mm -hmm. You see him attached to the logs. So the especially dropped the water levels. Oh, they dropped on Sunday. Yeah, buddy. What do you yep. think? Yep. Yep. Yo, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Denzel's world. <laughs> The egg map? <laughs> this one right there. That was the egg. So that's a Jefferson salamander egg map. So what they do is they, they lay like 300 or so eggs, but they'll, they'll lay them in different small groups. Mm -hmm. So they'll break up the <laughs> egg map. Oh, that's cool, bro. I don't know if you can see him clear enough to count or like 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 estimate how many egg masses are up. That's kind of... Can I run? Can you know All right, I'm just going to get you a jet. You're usually out here. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so don't need... going so we'll weigh each one and then uh get the snout bent like okay so. 25 10. so hopefully we got a good system set up it is tough. <laughs> <laughs> we're here <laughs> Ha, <laughs> <laughs> 
Salamander egg. That's for eggs right there. I'll just help them out. Do that on purpose. <laughs> oh yeah, it's one in here! Yeah, it's an egg nest, too. And there's that egg nest, too. Yeah. When Casey met Sally, is that what you just said? Sally, Casey, It's coming out, it's coming out! Is it coming out? That was so delayed. <laughs> Alright, Harris. Where is he at? Somewhere. I think there's an egg nest, too. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there there you go. Oh, yeah. It's, well, it's two. Oh, it's, two. Oh, it's a double yoker day. <laughs> double yoker. Yes. I want to hold double this bag. Yoker, joker. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, yeah. Good one. Good. Cool. There's still one in there. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I ain't been working out. No. Yeah. <laughs> Sarah, come here. Drink that's coffee good. and dream about salamanders. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm so glad you guys got to see these. I'm so glad yeah. you got to see them. I was getting I was nervous. Like, I was getting sad. Yeah. Yeah, so I was like, I had to wait another year? Oh, I'm going to wait another year. So we're going to take the first swab. Uh, then we're going to rinse them and so we're going to rinse them in sterile water that get rid of all the environmental transient microbes so things that are just passing by uh, so things from the soil or the water so we want their core microbiome so what's actually residents on their skin um, so we're going to rinse them in between and then swab them again and then we're going to streak that swab right on to this plate so this is R2A, it's, it's a low nutrient auger, doesn't have many nutrients at all. Uh, you could use a high nutrient uh, auger and that would just get all the fast growing bacteria growing up all over the plate. You want to capture much diversity, you would get one or two guys that just grow really quickly. So if you use low nutrients, it makes those guys grow a little bit slower, so some of the slower growing bacteria has a chance to grow on the plate before it gets crowded out by the, the fast growers. So we have that. I say if we get in like groups of three probably, and that would probably be it. We probably have a salamander enough for each group, okay? And someone's going to be the holder, all right? And then someone else is going to be the swabber. And then the other person will kind of assist, write down the information, because after we're done swabbing them, we'll get a weight, and then we'll get uh, an SVL, okay? So, which is snout vent length. You guys probably, we got something? Sorry, the bird. Oh, a bird. Sorry. I was like, it's a girl. It's a salamander. It's a girl. <laughs> SVL, you're going to go from the snout, all right, tip of the snout, to the midline of the vent, which is just the cloak we get. All right, so you want to try to hold that guy as straight as possible. The person that's holding the salamander, I want your hands sterile. So that's why I brought some 70% ethanol. So the first thing you're going to do, and the only thing you're going to do is hold the salamander. But first, spray your hands, let that ethanol dry, because we don't want to touch the salamander and sterilize him, right? So <laughs> after that point, don't touch anything but the salamander. That's really important, because we don't want our microbiome, we don't want a tree microbiome, we just want the salamanders. And then you're going to rinse them. Well, I brought up 50 milliliters of sterile water. We have 24 of these, I think we have. Yeah. So two of these per salamander. So they're going to do two rinses. So the person holding the salamander will hold it out and then someone else will uh, pour the water slowly, you know, over the entire surface of the body and then do that one more time. And so that's hopefully we're getting rid of that transient microbiota, okay? And then after that, we're going to swab. So how we're going to swab, up and back, I'll count once, all right? So you're going to go up and back and that'll be one swab. So we're going to do uh, 10 on the, the belly. And then five on each side. So ten on the belly, five on each side, and then five on each hind foot. All right. So that'll give us a good representation of different areas of the body. And so we're what we're doing is collecting all these microbial cells on the swab, 
and then you're going to get one of these plates here and you're basically going to make kind of a zigzag all right kind of like a big w it might be a little bit more than a w but as you streak it out you want to make sure you're rolling the swab so each surface of the swab is hitting the plate so you're depositing the cells onto the plate um, and before i forget so when you're swabbing the cell in there don't be afraid to put a little bit of force on there you're not going to hurt these guys uh, so some people just kind of like lightly so you really want to get that microbiome off of it do you want us to do a plate for each swab or you just want us to go oh. five or ten times no so do the swabbing on the salamander everywhere and then okay. just all over the plate yeah so you don't have to do each area oh differently ten belly five side three yeah. five each foot mm -hmm. yeah all with the okay. same swab yes all on the same okay. swab and then all on one plate mm -hmm. so do all the swabbing and do all the uh, so that will be your second swab okay Right, so the first swab we're gonna do, same procedure. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a swab for BD, and break it off into this tube right here, and then send it off to the lab to get tested. So you gonna like stretch them out once I put them in? Yeah. Oh! I got you, homie! Okay. <laughs> you gotta hold on to him. Yeah. All right. Do we do both water baths before the second one? Sweet, thank you. Okay. So that yeah. one you just break off in the tube. Look at all that juice. Yep. Yeah. 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 Just put like half of like this in the tube. Yeah, yeah just, just like, break it off and break it, it off in the tube. Okay. Okay. And then I'll just let it go. So remember, yeah. Now we got to. Remember, you are. That's important. So what we're doing right now is cleaning it off with um what type of water is this? Just sterilized water um so that we can take the next swabs. So now we're gonna take this swab and put it on these petri dishes so that they can grow up. Are you ready? Ten Yep. Are you when you're done, right. we put so you want to in a zigzag right. fashion? Awesome. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. so and that's going to grow up into a bunch of fungi. No okay. Bye guys. Sorry, I'm going to get <laughs> hmm? So what we're taking now is the snout vent lint. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm gonna poke him. I don't wanna. I don't know. I need a different angle. Yeah. Alright, so that's the vent right there, right? Yeah. We're about halfway down right there. There's no way. Alright. Stretchy. How long does that say? Just like that. It'd be 81.27 millimeters. Does anyone have Jeff too? Promise Somewhere. Ouch, my knees. Play, you can see some penis, you can see like the really organic, yeah, the little organic stuff. Hey, get a shot at it. You get nugget board. Is it a level or more? Yeah. Nate, do your core, man. I'm working on that core. Work your core, man. What are we doing over here, bro? This is his core sample. This is what is kind of the makeup of the area we're looking at, and it's mainly just clay and some decayed organic stuff, so that's about it. Oh, no, because <laughs> Make a run for it. <laughs> Uh, I just gotta do this. I don't know if it's gonna work out the way we want it to here. How many can I get in my seat? Running out. Hold on, I have a mass of salamanders. Now they're happy. No beef so the area that we found these guys in was um, considered to be a vernal pool and that is my second question of the day what is a vernal pool whoa are you still filming us yep are we going on your youtube channel yep <laughs> <laughs>